These are regulators of hepatic blood flow. There are two big categories for factors that regulate hepatic blood flow. They can be intrahepatic or extrahepatic. On the intrahepatic side, if you have reduced flow through the portal vein, it leads to adenosine accumulation, which leads to hepatic artery dilation, which can increase arterial flow up to 100%. This regulatory mechanism brings up the two main sources of blood to the liver. The hepatic artery, shown as the common hepatic artery, and the proper hepatic artery here, and the portal vein. The receptor distribution varies between these two sources of blood flow. In the hepatic artery, you have alpha and beta adrenergic receptors, whereas in the portal vein, you only have alpha adrenergic receptors. There are a number of other extrahepatic factors that regulate hepatic blood flow. Some that increase flow, meal consumption, which causes splanchnic vasodilation and increases portal flow, inspiration increases venous return, and increased cardiac output also increases arterial flow. Some extrahepatic factors that decrease flow are exercise and catecholamines, which produce blood redistribution to the periphery and decrease hepatic flow. Positive pressure ventilation, such as in an intubated patient, can decrease hepatic venous drainage, which reduces the portal hepatic pressure gradient, and heart failure, which would decrease cardiac output and reduce arterial flow. In septic shock, you also have splanchnic vasoconstriction, and you have decreased portal flow.